Let's go ahead and talk about the final topic for today. We are blowing through topics though, I will say that. We do have this article from Coindesk and this is going to be Vivo Power Subsidy, Subsidiary, Ooh. <laughs> Subsidiary. I got it, don't worry about it. We can do this live. Uh, carrot to launch solar powered crypto mining business. The new business is expected to eventually be spun off via an IPO. Vivo, Vivo Power, so on NASDAQ it's VVPR, a sustainable energy service provider, plans to start a crypto mining business through its subsidiary. subsidiary God dang it! <laughs> Carrot, which owns solar power projects throughout the US. The new business will be named Car Carrot Decimal and will have the capability to mine cryptocurrencies including Bitcoin, Ether, and Litecoin, according to a statement on Wednesday. For the deal, Carrot will continue an initial 206 MWDC of solar sites in Texas in exchange for $20 million of equity in Carrot Decimal. The solar power site will be built over a 24 month period and Vivo Power said it ultimately expects to spin off Carrot Decimal via an initial public offering. Once fully operational, these sites are expected to have 4,398 petahash capacity, a fleet of 33,000 mining rigs, revenue potentially approximately 270 million per an annum with an EBITDA margin of approximately 87% based on forecast uh, Bitcoin prices, the company said. Use of more sustainable energy sources to mine digital assets has been a topic within the industry as more miners move towards becoming carbon neutral. The Bitcoin Mining Council and Industry Forum estimated that the global mining industry had grown its sustainable energy mix to about 58% of the total in the third quarter of this year, up 3% from the second quarter. Vivo has operations in Australia, Canada, the Netherlands, UK, US, and the United, Nair United Arab Emirates. Uh, Carrot currently owns 38 solar projects in the US, totaling 1.2 GWDC. That's a lot. Ooh, I want all of it. We. So for this one, basically what we're seeing is it is getting to the point of, uh, I guess, large power companies being able to spin up huge mining farms, making it very competitive within the Bitcoin mining market to, uh, I guess, stay competitive as smaller miners as you try to grow. It's kind of pushing everybody into that GPU market. I hope that, you know, coming from like the smaller miners perspective that uh, in the in the wake of all this adoption that's going on, that there are some cryptocurrencies that can, you know, live up to possibly the original vision of Bitcoin with the figure out somehow one CPU, one vote, give more of the regular person an opportunity to invest and earn cryptocurrency and also help secure the network in some manner. It does feel like obviously like all these huge companies coming in. I think we read about one last week that was 130,000 uh, Bitcoin ASIC miners. Now this is talking about another 33,000 coming into play here in Texas too, uh, which is where I'm at. So, I mean, I kind of assume Texas is going to get a ton of the Bitcoin mining infrastructure. What's interesting is how they're going to handle that with the power grid, uh, because we do have issues in Texas with delivering the power. And that's going to be kind of interesting. Most of these companies, obviously with something like Vivo power, they're kind of self-sustained within their own little bubble. The other farms that are moving in, they're more than likely going to be negotiating direct off of the grid from the power company not uh, through some third party. Uh, but I do see that as a potential issue in Texas as it spins up and we'll have to see where it goes from there, especially with the use of like wind and the problem of like wind turbines not working when they freeze and not working all the time. What we need in Texas 
is nuclear. All right, can you get on that, Abbott? Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.